Hi everyone, this is Nima from clickship.com.au. I'm just doing an update video on our Lightning to 30 pin adapter. So as you can see, this is the adapter that we've been shipping out and what we've got in stock. Just plug a normal 30 pin iPhone 4 cable into it. So first I'm going to show you charging. So I'll plug it into my wife's iPhone. And if I bring this close here, you'll be able to see. Let me just focus on this point here. That it's charging, so you can see that up top here. Now, if I go into settings, let's say general, about, and you can see the version number here is the latest 6.1 beta 4, which is the newest beta release of 6.1 you can get in the iOS developers area. Now I'm going to show you that data transfer and syncing also works just fine with this cable. Now both the adapter and the cable are third party so there's nothing Apple related to this besides the phone that we're using. I'm going to leave the phone connected in the frame so that people don't say that I'm using a genuine cable. That's my screen. You can see that the phone's already popped up. This is a video file, 67 meg. I just drag it onto the desktop so you can see data transfer. Bang, there it is, data transferred. Now, in iTunes, I'm just hiding my num wife's number. Um, you can see here. I'll focus on it. So the iPhone's been picked up, and you can see here that the software version is 6.1. And if I adjust the camera a little bit, let's pull back. And if you look up here, I'll press the sync button, and you'll be able to see that it syncs just fine as well. There you go. So that's um syncing, charging and data transfer with the clickchip.com.au lightning to 30 pin adapter with a third party iPhone 4 cable working just fine on iOS 6.1 beta 4. Thanks for watching guys.